self-love is the only goal. That was the title of the message that came through tomorrow a year ago. And I'll explain what that means. Uh, yesterday, I talked about self-acceptance. And because you have to get to self-acceptance before you will get to self-love. And that's the process we each move through in our lives in terms of our actualization, our ascension, our personal development, whatever it is. We there are certain steps that we each will take to reach those places. And you've heard about so much of it. You might have studied uh, the principles of success. You could have studied um, Abraham Maslow's principles of actualization. You could have studied so many other things, but it's always the same thing. We're working with our brains. We're working with our consciousness to come to understand and accept who we are so that we can get to self-love. And then I thought, thought about that, that title, but I thought that's um, of what we're trying to do in the world, you see, because self-love would mean that each of us knows that we are on the earth for a reason, that we were born with purpose and worth and value, and we just develop it as we live. That is that also that process of ascension or self-actualization. Now, we will go about it in different ways, and I went about it in different ways. And sometimes because we are meant to be so unique it is challenging for us to get to self-acceptance. And that's what went on for me. Um, and let me read this message to you because it came through on February 6th. It's the 5th today, but this came through on February um, 6th of 2023. But it, it, there's something else too, because there is a video that is with it because I did a channeling session um, right after that. And so I'll attach that to this video, because if you hear it, it will help you understand what is happening in your life and what's going on in our world right now. See, because we're just trying to get to self-love, everyone. <laughs> so how do you get there? How do you feel that? How do you live the life that you're meant to have? And But let me read this message to you first, and you'll probably understand a bit more. And it was this. Self-love is the only goal. We are giving you information now that will make more sense when you, we deliver our life conversation later today. But we would like you to contemplate something before that time. We said self-love is the only goal, but that is the goal for all, which you will begin to understand. We have said you are moving through a restructuring in your world, but that is what is occurring within you. Now you are experiencing what we call the human dilemma. As you solve yours, the restructuring of all will be successful. Throughout human existence, you have struggled with this dilemma. You have done this because you believe in the power of one over another. But you thought that having that power would cause you to become successful and happy. But then you begin to believe that if others have that power, you would have less. Some of you move through periods of um, the formations of your civilizations where the collective use of individual power takes on a particular nature. As we have said, the power, the uh, as we have said, the period of civilization you are moving through now is a restructuring to shift that balance of power. You are continually solving this collective dilemma of who has more power but you are in the world now to solve that dilemma within yourself. We use Roger as an example, for that was his agreement as you each had yours. He couldn't accept that we gave him something years ago that would be useful now, but we did. And your guides have done the same and you intended to actualize yourself now. You knew you would add to the involvement of the world. But you also inherited the belief that some hold power more than others. And that dilemma is the one you are solving. No one has more power than you. That is the collective dilemma you are helping to heal now if you become willing to actualize who you are. You will be fine. Now, that was the message, and even if people had read it probably two years ago, it might not have made as much sense as it would today. 
um, and I'm just going to, you'll hear this in the recording because I would like for you to listen. I've been doing this for so many years and, and we all have cognitive dissonance, meaning that I can say something to you. I can say, we can say something to ourselves, but we don't believe it because we haven't experienced it yet. And we don't think that we can do that because it's something in the unknown. That's what I did when I put out my work, you see. And I knew that it could cause anyone to live a really great life. And I'm sitting here today at 73 and everything that I went through in my life is healed because of this work. I, you know, but getting others to understand that is really challenging, was challenging for me. And you will hear all of that in this, in this recording, because it also talks about, and this was two years ago, where I was told I had to change the rate. I had to do more because of the value that was here. And that our world would need this. But it that was a really a great challenge as well. But you'll hear more of that. And I'm also doing a, there's going to be another session, channeling session, Wilhelm session this Friday. So I'd love for you to come to that. You'll hear even more. But um, I will tell you that you are coming to understand more parts of yourself. We are all evolving. We're going through what I call a collective ascension. And the more of us who decide to love who we are, that self-love, that means self-actualization and self-acceptance. It's all the same thing. Everyone was born with something, some unique path they were meant to live. And if we do that, then the world starts to feel better. That's what happens. And sometimes we hold back. But for me, it was challenging, as you'll hear and hear, because I created something new. This work has never been here before. That's why people couldn't accept it. But if you listen to the recording, then also I'll put in there, which I've done before, but it may not make difference but i want you to hear the people who have gone through the 31 days and it's completely changed their lives and so you'll have to understand that I, i'm saying that because you probably know i'm going to be changing that soon but um i've been told that for two years that i that i had to do that and i went through so many these last several years as you'll hear this as well i test everything i have to know that if I'm going to give you something, I want to know that it, it connects, that it works. And what this work does, it connects you to your soul purpose. It connects you to your authentic self, why you're in the world. And that's what I'm most thrilled about. But enjoy the video, and I know that you will receive a lot of value from it. See you soon.